That's the call of the Falcon people. Hey guys, welcome to the start of today's video. Today we're gonna be delving deeper into why we actually bought this EF Falcon behind me, exactly what we're gonna be doing to it, and we're gonna take this car to Tristan's place to put it up on the lift to see if there's any other issues that we don't know about. Now, firstly, we're gonna properly introduce this car. This is our new 1994 EF Ford Falcon. This thing is far from perfect. There are plenty of things that need attention. The interior is pretty clean, but there are some questionable stains located inside of it. Mechanically, this thing seems okay, but it doesn't matter because we're going to be ripping the engine and transmission out of this car. We'll talk a little bit about that later, but the first thing we're going to do is give her a wash because this is just not, not acceptable. So for the past 30 minutes or so, I've been going ahead and cleaning the hell out of this thing. And my God, I, I can't believe what's underneath all the dirt and debris. This The paint is immaculate. I can't express enough how much better the paint looks in person rather than on camera. But, but I had no idea that it was going to look this good after we had given it a bit of a scrub. Oh, this color. Holy moly. The paint was definitely one of the biggest selling points on this car. But I'm actually going to go ahead and clay bar the entire thing because the paint is just so good. I really want to talk about the plans, but this is just surprising me this car is so clean look at it oh my god Okay, I am done. Done for now at least. We've got most of the car clean. I've done the interior, the exterior, and it's looking pretty freaking good. I even went ahead and bezel washed all the uh, interior stuff. If you don't know what a bezel vacuum is, I think it's called, oh, it's a bizzle, bizzle. It's like a water extractor. So like you spray water on and then it sucks the water up. So have a sus. This is the uh, result of five hours worth of work. We started at about one. It's now like 5.30. Have a look at the interior. Seats all extracted. Wow, that's drying up really fast actually. So that's sweet. The back as well is immaculate. Oh my God. Look at that. Have a sus. There's a few little swirls, but everything will come out with a nice polish. Here's a look on the other side. We extracted all the dirt out of all the carpet. Oh man, it's it's a dream in here. Here's a look at the passenger side as well. Dude, I'm so happy with this car, man. My God. Well, 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 look who decided to show up. What do you think, bro? Do you like it? I love it. <laughs> we've, we've converted the mans. No, he's gone from Euro to JDM to now ADM. You've, uh, you've gone from three bit, very I'm, different places. I'm a bit disgusted, honestly. Why? But What's wrong with it? Oh, there's nothing wrong with this. They're just ADM. Everything's wrong with ADM. What's wrong with ADM? ADM's the best. Ain't that right, boys? Uh, JDM is still king. JDM is still king, but if you want to buy a car like this, the equivalent, which is a S14. What did he say? Oh. You're looking at what, like 25 grand? 30 yeah, grand? Not cheap. Look, it's the S14, boys. S14. All right, we are here at Tristan's shop. Hello, Tristan. What's going on? Howdy. Good What's to happening? see you again, mate. Dude, I'm keen. So Tristan and I have some plans. Yeah, we've, we're going to do a collaborative build and we're going to get the Barra in the EF Falcon. You excited? I am. I've been sending you a million messages. I'm yes. pretty G'd up about what we can do with this thing. So yeah, I'm so wrapped with that color. <laughs> you couldn't have got it any better. It suits me just fine. The brighter, the better. Looks yep. mad. Integra's uh, came out mm. in the same sort of color in the same era. I think it was a 90s thing. Like, mm. let's just go aqua green on everything. I think back then it was kind of gross, but now it's like, it's a sick color. Like it actually came out really good after cleaning it. Like I was spending like all day cleaning it and stuff. <laughs> That's like every single Ford Falcon ever. Power steering just dies. First thing that you'll notice uh, and why this is more superior than the AU Falcon is it's got computer torque control. Nice. <laughs> oh, we got a bit of a leak. Yep. BMW level leaks. Okay, let's have an inspection. What's going on underneath here? Oh, we've got a bit of a leak. 
You reckon that is? Nice and moist. Yes, very moist. Probably power steering. Yep. I know that we do have a, a diff leak. I saw this before and it was also mentioned by the previous owner. Oh, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Um, what else? No, nah, it's not the worst. Like, that's not the worst thing ever. Diff leak, pretty easy to fix. Apparently it's leaking from, oh, it is leaking from the, the left-hand side too. You're gonna have a sus. Look at that, bit of a leak. This side's mint though. What do you rate it out of 10, Tristan? Uh, outside, for its age, about a seven and a half. You can see just through there, mm -hmm. power steering fluid on everything. Yep. So I'd say that's what that is. Um, it's got some uh, nolithane or Petters sway bar bushes. Sick. You can see the ABS here with the um, wheel speed sensor. Mad. These rotors need to go. They're horrible. Has it got a double wishbone like the AU? Oh, I think it does. Sick. So we might be able to use BABF uh, suspension maybe, Tristan. What do you reckon? We can go to Imlox together. I reckon we can. Yep. It's the uh, same setup as a Honda, actually. It's where Tristan and I first met too. Yeah. That's how cute things started. How romantic. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks, looks pretty decent. It seems like the power steering is going to be a bit of a pain. It's very common. My dad said that on his old EL, he blew up like three power steering racks. How good. It's got a tow bar. Is that staying or going? 100% staying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is going to be the tow rig. Barra tow rig. Barra tow rig. 400 kilowatt tow rig. Keen. We need to talk about that. I've spoiled it a little bit, but we'll talk about that in a sec. You've already done a burnout in it. No, previous owner. <laughs> Missing anything? Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's the call of the Falcon people. Where'd that come from? That's the battery cooler, I'm pretty sure. Because apparently it's common for the batteries to like overheat, I've heard, and have problems. Sale on Marketplace if anyone wants one. 50 bucks. Just a $1 scratchy, thank you. Ah, 50 bucks. So, Tristan and I are gonna talk about the plans for this build. I haven't really thought about it too much, but I know that there's one thing I definitely wanna do, and that's put a barrel in an EF Falcon. We're gonna chuck a gassy in here. Apparently they're good to about 500 kilowatts reliably. All you need to do is chuck some head studs, valve springs, and an oil pump gear, and then you're good to go. Yep, I've, I've heard the exact same thing, and I think that's gonna be plenty for shenanigans, fun, yep. towing, going to the drag strip. It's gonna be a good time, and then Tristan's also gonna bring his VL as well. Yeah, We're I've gonna get a, a baseline time. RB VL, which I'll be doing a similar thing, but it won't have as much power as a Barra. No, can't beat a Barra, mate. Can't beat a Barra. <laughs> Best engine in the world, aren't they? You can beat them. Yeah. But it's probably better to join them. If you only knew the power of the dark side. Yes. So that's the thing, that's the thing that I've learned to accept. Like you got the JDM, but the best engine for JDM is probably like a 2JZ. 2JZ engine, no shit. To get a 2JZ, you have to spend about, what are they looking like? Nine grand? Ten grand now? I don't know, what do you, what do you reckon they are? Easy, easy. Do you know how, how much gas Barry is on Facebook Marketplace? Seven to eight hundred dollars. That's, that's it, right? Yeah, so when we go to Imlax, we got to get all the accessories with it. That's where they sting you, but yes. it's worthwhile to get it. So power steering, uh, the ECU, the wiring loom, all that sort of stuff, we'll have to grab as much of the wiring as possible because you can tune the factory Barra ECU and, and yes. flash that. That is such so, a benefit, right? I was yeah. like, I was worried about all that, like, oh, what ECU I'm gonna run. You can run a standard Barra ECU. They, don't, they make, make it so easy. It's, it's next level, it's just plug and play. Back in the day when they first came out, there was a thing called a Kappa flash tune and you just, anyone could just buy one for like six or 700 bucks, plug it in the OBD port, hit map one, two or three, <laughs> and you'd go from 240 kilowatts stock to like 315, just like that. Really? So, <laughs> Back in the day? And then they're just like curb to curb, just cause they're so long, just holding massive angle, just drifting everywhere. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's another thing. So this is not going to be a drift build. It's going to be a pure straight line car. Something that, I don't know, I've never associated myself with, but I feel like it's necessary to get into. Just give it a go. We're taking it to Heathcote and we're going to run some tents, aren't we Tristan? He's going to learn because <laughs> driving in a straight line is actually stupidly hard to get right. It sounds... That's what I've heard. It sounds like it's just accelerator, let off the brake, hold the steering wheel straight, but there's heaps more to it. And yeah, what, what you think's fast is not fast. Yes. 
I, I reckon we can put a 10 down there with yeah. the with 400 kilowatts and an EF chassis. That should be pretty good. Easy. They, they weigh a heap less than a um, BABF. So. Yeah, the BABFs weigh like 16, 1700 kilos. This is Tristan, by the way. I haven't properly formally introduced him, but he also has a YouTube channel. You've seen him on some of my videos. Turbo Tristan. Go check him out. He's almost at 10,000 subscribers. He was supposed to hit that last year. But you, yeah. guys, you guys just didn't help out. So I'm in a good position where I can help Rex out with a heap of car parts. My channel is sponsored by Raceworks. I've pushed him to get heaps of Raceworks stuff. So on the barrel, we'll get some massive injectors, fuel pump, fuel rail, all the fittings and stuff. We'll do all Raceworks stuff. We'll get some intercooler pipes. We'll hook Rex up with a massive front mount for this thing to keep it cool. But big thing in the budget uh, of turboing a gassy is turbo manifold, but just all that sort of stock stuff. If, if anyone's got a Barra turbo and they've upgraded it and they've just got the uh, old manifold hanging around in the garage, hit us up. We will definitely take that off your hands if you're local, especially Southeast Melbourne people. And if there's any other companies out there that want to help as well, make this build possible, hit me up, rextonlhyt.com. I mean, okay. at, at gmail.com. <laughs> gotcha. That name again is Mr. Pat. Um, yeah, you, oh, that's the brand that we have. We have Unimig. Yeah, come on, bro. Lay some bad beads. Well, there you go, guys. Those are the plans for the EF Falcon. Um, we just spent a little bit of time uh, testing out Tristan's welder. Do you reckon it's the welder? Yeah, probably. 100%. Lachlan was trying to lay some fat beads, but he couldn't do it today. He was cooking it. Damn, not on the on the fat beads, bro. I was laying some flat, uh, flat. Laying some uh, fat flamethrowers. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Man, why does it do that? That is that is not right. Well, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Those are the plans for the Barra swapped EF Falcon. Yes, we are going to Barra swap. We're going to be doing everything to get us down into the 10 seconds, and hopefully we can get there. It's going to be a, a massive journey because I'm still trying to figure out what gearbox I need to run. If you guys have any ideas, should I go ZF, built, BTR, or manual? I'm, I'm really unsure on what to do. I'm relying on a lot of your help because... This is me venturing into territory that I've never been to before. Other than that, I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Well, that's hard to say. <laughs> but yeah, we got some mad, mad content coming. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. It does. There's no... <laughs> 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 <laughs>